anyway, because it's brand new. So <laughs> by Doom standards, it's brand new. Um, people tried to recreate uh, Doom from memory. What? Why does the music sound like this? Why? I I would have gotten this perfect from memory. <laughs> yeah, I I wouldn't be able to get any of the levels right. Hang on. I don't think that's right. Yeah, the the layout of the demo level I don't think is quite right. With the ROM hacking tools perfectly from memory, yes. Sorry, I'm watching this now. Yeah, this is good already. All right, let me set up the cropping. Wow, the Super NES and, and, and NES are really similarly cropped. Yeah, e E4, M4. <laughs> Yeah, I really want to do that Doom one. I watched Psyraptor do a bunch of the end of it, but I was busy for the beginning. And I won't spoil everything, but one common theme in the Doom, the way we remember it thing, apparently, that like I just have to experience myself is, uh, hey, thank you, Speedy, is they tended to get large sections of levels right, but mirror them. I have no idea. All right, here we go. Well, well, obviously that's that's not correct because it should be Princess Toad's tool. Is it fun? I see. I think that might be right. That's pretty close if it's not like literally just correct. No. <laughs> What are you talking about, Emily? No, I'm not. Wait, this is wrong? This area is? Oh, well, yeah, the music is wrong. Yeah, we knew that. The tempo is wrong. Come on, guys. This seems close so far. What? I refuse to believe. I ref I'm sorry. I refuse to believe the person doesn't know the the melody. <laughs> that that da nah, nah, It doesn't do that. Uh, I know something's wrong about this, but I can't tell you what. This is close. Hang on. There's there's a missing chord change. No, I think the tempo's correct. Weird. Oh, this is obviously extremely wrong. <laughs> See, because this slide here, this is too far to the left. Oh my god, that's loud. Hey, thank you, Deep Shock. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be playing that too, Beefork. You see what I mean, right? Like, this slide... Did you hear that? 
here's what this is. This is a musician who hasn't played a lot of Mario World. So when they don't know something, they'll just kind of fake it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, the random hoedown. Yeah, that'd be funny, Jed. Huh? I like how the, the ghost is floating over, like, very clearly not in the ghost house. <laughs> over there. <laughs> they probably couldn't move that, and so the person who did it was like, okay, well, obviously that's not right. Uh, this room, I think, is not anywhere near big enough. If memory serves, which, I mean, that's the point of this hack, is that it doesn't. Whoops. <laughs> Thank you, Otsaka. Now are you? Weird. Huh? Why? Uh, I don't think this goes here. This little platform. This should be Yoshi. That's right. I have no idea how close that is to the original. Oh, 50 hertz. I get it. It's too low, okay. I meant the the contents of the te or the the text of the text box for what it's worth. That would be cool, Duke. Yeah, that's right. There's a Yoshi there. This is like I think this is all right, but it's not the dimensions aren't like exactly right. What? Huh? What, Duke? Oh, you mean the layout is too low? Yeah, I, I wasn't talking about that. I, I, I know the layout's too low. What? <laughs> this sounds normal to you, <laughs> Zell. Uh -huh. Okay, I I really think some of this is that these people are no idea. I think these people like are remembering the music correctly, but they don't know how to use the like <laughs> a DAW is the wrong word, but the software for tracking NES music. It's just like no way that somebody would get the tempo this wrong. But it also kind of sounds like someone who's not a musician messing with this kind of software. Weird. And this is all wrong over here. It's like similar. Well, your tracker's the wrong term. What? Woo! Oh my god. Hey, first of all, that's a good emote. Second, I have my speakers up really loud because this game is quiet as hell.
<laughs> Thanks, Fuzzy Snug. Z did the mic catch it? It had to. No, I can't. It's not possible. There's no way I can do that, Emily. I mean, on your end, I can turn the game up a little bit. It won't change the issue with the... Uh... Okay, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> you know the, the Hyadine Western show? That's where that person got that one note that... Come the fuck on. You know there's no cape here. <laughs> you know there's no cape here. The whole thing about Mario World is there's no cape. Until World 2. I don't want to spoil it, but there's a humorous... Emily, I already turned it up. What are you talking about? Do you need it more, or, or are you just explaining? You didn't notice? Uh, is the game too loud? This is literally as high as it can go. The game's quiet. That's the thing. Apparently a common theme with this is that the levels end up really short. Like they'll remember the basic structure of something like, all right, there's a platform here and then a platform here. And like the space between the two things will be really condensed. Like, this is wrong, for example. Put it down now? Yeah, you don't want to hear it anyway. Uh, this feels really wrong, but I can't tell you why. Mega Man 3 for memory would be awesome. Oh, this is... <laughs> what? Yoshi's friend was... Why do you want me to defeat Yoshi's friend? I bet the middle levels are just like guessing. Some of this has to be people. What game could I make from memory? None of them. Oh, what would I try to make from memory? Castlevania 1. Oh, good. Good job, Dot. Get out of there. All right. There might be a little more dynamic range than the original. No, I could only make... Hey, <laughs> thanks, Ren. I could only make parts of Castlevania 1 from memory. Hey, Andy, thanks for the raid. Is it still because I turned it down 1.3? The entirety of Terra Enigma? Isn't that like long as fuck? It is. I guess it doesn't really like count if you just jump over or fly over everything. FF4 from memory could be. Hmm? What? Oh no. <laughs> so like what's going on here is these these guys have played so many Mario World ROM hacks and made so many that they like don't remember <laughs> the game, right? <laughs> a door? There's pipes on the other side. Huh? 
Why did it spit me out over here? Okay, so if I recall, the deal is you go in this pipe and it spits you out here. That's like what's weird about it. Yeah, the music is from memory or something. Okay. This is consistent. How many of the, the like halfway tapes have been like too close to the ground? What? Ah, uh, this looks strange. Like the thing is I wouldn't do any better for like any of this. <laughs> It's a lot easier to play this and go, okay, something's obviously wrong than to <laughs> to get it right the first time and also to identify what exactly is wrong. I think that's I don't think that's correct. Among other things, I feel like maybe to make it look less like shit, this lower platform might have been slightly longer. Yeah, right, exactly. That's that's how that's how it would go. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, one of them has a flashy cape for sure. I remembered that. <laughs> I guess I carried the key into the keyhole up there and the camera didn't follow me for some reason. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was doing, but I couldn't, I don't remember this level at all. Yeah, there's definitely a secret exit. Nice, how did that go? Oh, I bet this is really wrong. You know what I mean? It does sound like Mario is missing. Ah, <laughs> uh, weird. Look at the sprite. <laughs> Do you think that's going to fall down? This is in the original game. But, so these like pea balloon zones are all over the game, but also some of these are like rooms that just have a bunch of flying like uh, power up blocks that you like throw stuff into. So I don't know. Yeah, it's a bonus room. That's not right. Hey, go away. Dude, I don't know what is causing this. You notice like random scan lines are turning totally red? Yeah, it's visible on my end. What? That's not... Oh, this is right, isn't it? Oh, come on, game. Hang on. Now the boos are in three. I just want to see. Huh, I don't think that's correct. I. This is a hundred percent wrong. What? 
So what I remember being in here is there are these rooms. There are a few of them where there's just one of those blocks that pushes out a bunch of coins that you can steer using the D-pad. One of the better what levels? I think they're thinking of a different ghost house there. I think they might be mixing this up with the other Donut Plains ghost house. Yes, I, I'm sure that's right. It's just odd that they made up like a weird area with like a bunch of... Normally have three boos. Three small boos. What? They missed an entire note. Yeah, there's a boss here. If you take the alternate exit to get onto Star Road. Uh, this looks wrong. The star's like too wide, it's not tall enough. Right, yeah. That's not right. Like, if you go down that side, you eventually get the key. But... That's not right. You don't need to pick up the little... the little Yoshi to feed him the star. This level is like literally a quarter of the proper length too. <laughs> yeah, the key's definitely not flush with the ground there, right? Yeah, this is so I think this should be two blocks high, but something that's definitely wrong with it is right here in the middle. There should be a visible pit beneath the blocks. So it's like if this is too high, then the middle needs to be one block high. Oh, yeah. Good job, me. Oh, I'm up there, I think. Do you have to hit him with a block? Huh? Weird. Yeah, I know, Kate Bryce. I'm going to be playing that soon. What? I can't pick this up. I can't pick any of this up. Oh, I. That's bizarre. I don't know why the, the button wasn't picking it up. I think that might be right. 
that structure up there. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't tell you what's wrong with any of this stuff. I don't feel like they did this, though, where these were rotating, like, in different directions like this. It's not fucking battle tone. Yes. They are incorrect. Right. Uh, yeah, this is super wrong. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Have a good one. That. Yeah, that note is extremely wrong. Is it yellow? Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked. It'd be easy to mix up those two levels, though, so that makes sense that they're red in both of them. <laughs> T. What? Okay, well, obviously they got something wrong. I'm softlocked, huh? Oh, no, I'm not. Interesting. I think this platform is like much more challenging than the the standard platforming here. I'm pretty sure it's just like mostly flat. Yeah, the Koopas are super wrong. The, th the problem with doing Castlevania from memory is, like, I could do it. But, like, I feel like with a game like that, like, the level... <laughs> the levels just aren't as interesting, like, architecturally. So it would be less funny when stuff is wrong and just oh. be like, yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> you know? Wow. 
it's really different if you're really familiar with the game. <laughs> uh-huh. That was pretty fun. <laughs> it does sound like Witch Doctor. Wait, no, my Yosh. No, nah, it's way wrong, Emily. Remember the Arnold Schwarzenegger commercials where he goes, Yosh! There should be another block here that's one of those, like, coin blocks where you hit it and it spits out coins a whole bunch. All right. <laughs> Which of the pipes did they put the secret exit in? The wrong pipe. <laughs> I don't think there's a pit there at all. Oh, this is, yeah, this is completely incorrect. Like, normally there's a whole structure here. There are like three floating blocks. <laughs> it's... Should you be able to get a two up there? Oh, maybe. <laughs> that would be funny. Wire one controller up to the original game in this game. <laughs> Right over there, Mario. Yeah, that's the funny part. <laughs> I don't know, like, I'm a musician, so I feel like I would probably get the music, like, way more accurate <laughs> than, than these guys did. No. <laughs> that's funny. How long is it? Like, three hours? Yeah, exactly. I'm just saying, if I had been on music duty... Oh, this doesn't go here. They remembered this was in the level, but it's immediately after the ceiling crusher. <laughs> they don't make you do really mean jumps like this that often. Yeah, I mean, like, with the Doom one... There are some enemy placements that are definitely like, yeah, there's no way you thought <laughs> there was a cyber demon here. Like, I'm sorry, I don't buy it. I wonder if there's a degree of that going on here. Do you remember that, that, uh, short story about the guy who's attempting to rewrite, um, 
Don Quixote from memory. <laughs> Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Don't spoil it, Psyraptor. Ooh. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You are correct, Emily. Yeah, it's it's completely identical to Don Quixote, and then the story is analyzing it as if it's a completely different thing. When Cervantes says this, it means whatever, but then when whoever his name says this, and it's the exact same passage. Good pog champs for that. Yeah, I don't know. I think the scroll speed fluctuates a lot. I feel like this is one this is something that like literally nobody would be able to do <laughs> accurately. Maybe if you were like an I an IL speedrunner who focused only on this stage. <laughs> Then you would know exactly when the scroll speed changes and everything. Sounds right. Oh, it doesn't crush you against the ceiling if you're not, if you don't jump off right away, right? That's true in the original, but only if you get all the way to the right, because there's a little, like, dip on the end. It had the part, but it was, like, way less mean. What does this say? <laughs> I don't know. That seems a little odd, but maybe it is that simple in the original. Fuck me. Hey, Brian, thank you. How are you? It's not, no. I mean, the solution to that, the solution to that thing is the same. You just go through the door twice. But there's definitely, um, the whole end was not like architecturally correct. Hang on. I think something changed with my tracking and the model is pretty consistently positioned wrong now. So you don't see the red lines at all. That's weird. They're only showing up on the on the monitor and not the capture. Um Yeah, weird. Yeah, they're all over my my uh picture, but it, it really doesn't matter. I wonder why I got hit. No, Emily, I'm sure it's a compatibility issue with my monitor and uh, the retro tank. It's weird. You should do that, BNU. The widescreen version? 
Yeah, there's something wrong with how the ghosts are. Like, I think their spawn is placed incorrectly so that if you just fly up the left as fast as possible, you get uh, hit. Because that's not correct. I think that's right. I think the capes are on the left side, right? Hey, thank you, Mocha. What you talking about, Deep Shock? Oh, there's no way they'd do that. Did we just, like, miss 90% of the level? I feel like we did. Oh, no, they misplaced that. That's at the end of the level normally. I was just talking about a story about... A guy. I'm pretty sure there's at least one. Okay, see you, Yoshi. At least one blue shell Koopa here. There are checkpoints in the middle of the level, though. It's just the placement of that bonus... Uh, bonus is wrong. That guy, I don't think, is that early in the level. Is this right? <laughs> this seems fucked up to me. But I don't know. I know who that is. <laughs> Right? That doesn't seem right. Oh, we're done talking about novels. That's it for novel chat. <laughs> that was super incorrect. The idea is right. Yeah, but so what was wrong with it? There were too many Goombas. Is it placed right in the level? Is It's not too early or anything? clearly not correct because the jump can't be done. I couldn't get up on there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't even know where to look for them, unfortunately. Whoops. <laughs> They changed the timing on the thwimps. They remembered it wrong. <laughs> That's what happened there. Right, you needed the platform to make the jump, but I couldn't even jump to the platform is the funny thing. Uh, I think this is normally flush with the wall. The platforming is all way harder than it should be. This is definitely, <laughs> like, that's definitely because this is made by, like, Kaizo hackers. Oh, this is 100% wrong. I, <laughs> what? Normally there are two places to take this spring. Oh, 
Ha! <laughs> This is like part of Wily like four in Mega Man three. <laughs> you didn't think there was a spike here. Come on. Whoop. Is this the right boss? I always like to look up at him. Oh, that's the wrong castle that I just did. Is that text right? <laughs> oh, I see. This is way too far to the right. This level is really close, though. Really close. <laughs> the contents of that box are correct. There's something missing here. I also think this jump is not as precise. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, what this one's missing is chord changes. <laughs> this song. Wait, what was down here? completely made this up. <laughs> this is correct, I think. There we go. Yeah, that's the whole hack. We're done dropping frames, I think. For the time being. You're not supposed to take this path if you have uh, Big Mario. I'm not even sure Nintendo knew it was possible. <laughs> this this shouldn't be here though. Pretty sure. The thing is, like, nobody remembers the middle levels, right? What are they even going to be like? <laughs> you know? And something's wrong here. There's supposed to be a floppy fish on the ground. Is the key visible from there normally? That's not right at all. Is This isn't a P-switch, is it? It shouldn't be. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a way more complicated puzzle than <laughs> the original. 
I think like what you're supposed to do is you use the P switch to get in here and the key is also in here along with the keyhole. Yeah, football guy, that makes sense. I'm right about that? Okay, yeah. These guys have like room to breathe. I don't remember how you even get the one up here. It's like you let this guy out. It is funnier when they can't move. <laughs> They're just twiddling direction at like 60 hertz. Something is wrong with the shape of this room. Because that jump is like... <laughs> at this one in particular, like... The whole room fits in the screen, for one thing. Yeah, everything is wrong about it, I'm pretty sure. This is a very evil rendition of the level. Oh, I need a Yosh, don't I? Uh, I don't think it's as close as 95. This is so strange. <laughs> are they 100% right though? I'm not sure they are, whoops. I think one of these is supposed to be red. One of these shells. Yeah, that would be cool. Huh, there's just one level here. That's, that's correct then. Oh, this looks uh, reasonably accurate actually. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure about this over here. That's a good idea. Excuse me? What? Is this correct? Do you know this game pretty well, Masumi? like that. Really? The thing about Zoomers react to Mario World is there's like no generation that hasn't grown up like <laughs> massively overexposed to Mario 3 and Mario World. Oh yeah, climbing the right side here is not supposed to be anywhere near that hard. The left side belt pretty close, which leads me to think the level designer habitually takes the left side. Uh, you don't have to move this spring normally. Let's 
so... Huh. One too many. That's really common in Doom the way we remember it, too. Or remembered it. Where, like, a room that would have, like, two shotgunners and one zombie man has, like, five of each. I suspect these levels were probably the first ones made. Um, so you know how when they were like prototyping Super Mario World, huh? Is that right? They uh, just ported Mario 3 to the Super NES. Um, okay, these uh, hills were new in Mario 3. You couldn't have a, a slanted surface like that in, uh, huh? Yeah, I was about to get to that. <laughs> in, um, Mario 3, or in Mario 1 or 2. So, like, there, there's a lot of that in Mario 3. Um, holy crap. That is loud. Hey, thank you, Melty Kit. <laughs> the arpeggio at the end. <laughs> Was there an echo? Yeah. But this isn't right. It pretty much is shaking, yeah. Hey, Uno Squid. Oh my god, I jumped! But anyway, um, yeah, the these levels are like in a secret, like hidden path. Which, you know, if I if I were making a game and I had levels I was maybe gonna cut, but I thought they were kind of interesting, I might make them a secret path, you know? And then internally, if you if you open up Mario World in like a level editor. This is the first level, and then there's another... Uh, Donut Secret 2 is the second level. Or, it's 2 and 3 that are 1 and 2. Well, yeah, because if you come from a Kaizo background, you'd be pretty familiar with the... the dying theme. Yeah, this is way off. It's just completely made up. The level is, like, nowhere near as complex in the original. Oh yeah, there's this level. This is also a really Mario 3 kind of thing where you're getting bullied by a giant fish the whole time. Oops. Dude, this... How does anyone deal with this fish? Normally the game gives you more than like two dolphins. Uh, I patched the US version, so I don't think I can eat the dolphins. I don't think this level ever gave you enough room to get up P speed. I want to stop getting the bonus level now. Well, I flew, though. I kind of wonder if I outran the dolphins. I think it would have had dolphins if we'd waited. You can't in the original level, but are you completely confident that it's not possible to design a level where you can out, uh, hey, vote, where you can outrun the 
Yeah, this is normal, Ellie. In the engine, you can't do it. Because obviously you can do it in the engine, they did it. <laughs> This is normal. A water ghost is a little odd, but there is such thing as a fire ghost. They haunt firemen their whole lives. I remember them falling up. Oh my god, dude. Leave it to me to get hit. Yeah. What the hell's chocolate bridge? I don't think there is one. You mean vanilla bridge? There's no chocolate bridge. There's butter bridge and vanilla bridge, isn't there? Cheese bridge area, that's it. See, this is how you end up with hacks like this. Mountain, got it. Is it mountain? Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought it was island. Yeah. <laughs> this is so consistent. Like, they, none of the platforming is ever this challenging. I don't think that goes there. <laughs> Boon, does this shell go here? That would be funny, Megami. <laughs> oh, good. I ran into the guy. They changed that, obviously. This is wrong. It's normal for there to be a flashing shell there. Uh huh. Look at this. <laughs> Come on. Well, they're not trying to make it difficult, though. They've just played so much Kaizo that they're, like, super good at the game. So they don't remember what a difficult jump is versus, like, a ridiculously difficult jump. <laughs> They've lost perspective on it. Yeah, okay, I didn't remember there being fuzzies either. That <laughs> that tracks. Well, it's fine in Mario Maker, because the whole the whole like target audience of Mario Maker is people who can do Kaizo levels. Yeah. Yeah, part of the issue there is Mario Maker itself is too limiting. You just can't do anything that's all that interesting other than like super hard levels and like gimmick stuff like uh, uh, someone made like a Portopia clone in it or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Well, that was who Nintendo marketed it toward, yes. But it, who actually ends up playing it? <laughs> it's people who 
our Kaizo wizards. Yoshi fell. Yeah, the discovery is bad too, huh? Yeah, but it's accidental, Rom. <laughs> They're trying to just remake the game. But seriously, folks. Bartend your waitress. Tip your drink. It does seem like it's really difficult <laughs> to to get the mushrooms to spring back up in time. It's since everybody, <laughs> when people play ragtime, they tend to play it fast as fuck anyway, right? Yeah, they speedrun ragtime. I don't think that's right. Feel like that's too long. I hate this level. I don't care how they changed it. I'm just going to fly over it. Who's with me? Seemed pretty accurate to me. <laughs> that one was right. Very easy game. This is too th thick, I think. I think these are like, yeah. You see the, how this is like a two wide, a two tile wide block. The walls should be that too. Oh, and there's no way out of it. <laughs> That's completely incorrect. Uh-oh. This is way more complicated than the original. <laughs> I bet the timing on this is like really tight too. No. Yeah, this ROM hack is interesting. The deal with it is they're just trying to remake the game from memory. That's not right. You don't ever have to jump off of the fence, I think, to crush a Koopa on it. It's top 10 three things. It's top three things in the game, yeah. I guess you meant all games, though. 
Watch Mojo's top 10 three things. Look at this. They got it wrong. It's been really strange. The missing note will never not get me. Hey, thank you, Sepasai. I actually have to go get a bottle of water, so just a sec. Is the text wrong, Strawberry? <laughs> yeah, I was talking about the text, Deep Shock. Hey, lizard. <laughs> this is so weird. Nice. Good to see you, Nocturne. Fireflower. I don't think I don't think it can dump a beetle on your head, but I I could swear that was a fire flower. What do you mean? It's a rom hack. Is that what do you mean by that? A SNES modification. Yeah, it's a rom hack. Yeah, I'm going to be playing that. That one was hilarious. <laughs> I In 3D, there's so much more to get wrong. <laughs> this this SNES is modified. So one chip SNES is all output RGB. But there's this one model of the one chip that doesn't output C-Sync, and I had a C-Sync cable, so... Or output is the wrong term, I think, but it doesn't support C-Sync. Yeah, did you mod it? See, I mean, you say that, Strawberry, but, like, that's definitely the case for this game, too. There are people who know this game, like, intimately. All right, that happened.
Yeah, I modded a Super NES Mini. Well, Junior. The small model. To uh, have S video out. It's just smaller and it doesn't output um, S video or RGB. Did you just get here, sneaker nets? <laughs> Do you not know what this is? Yeah, but then the ROM hack's not that interesting if it's close. <laughs> That's not right. It's just a new thing <laughs> that I think they thought would be cool. It'd be funny if you could go down that pipe. Yeah, the thing that they're thinking about, you can actually get on top of it with a cape, I think. But that wouldn't have been possible there. <laughs> this is way too big. <laughs> Uh. Oh yeah, this is a uh, an SNES one chip O3 uh modified to support composite sync. What's uh, an RG351 MP? Oh, it's a handheld. I can read, I just choose not to. And this is wrong. Yeah, this thing, they like also put this in earlier in the level. You should be able to get on top of it if they did it right. Fucked up. <laughs> oh. I don't think they knew. Hey there, Aki Bread. Big Saddler. Yeah, we've gotten to the point where I think they're unfamiliar enough with the levels that like there's tons of stuff they're just making up. Is this the one you can get on? Oh wow, did I despawn the raft? Yeah, <laughs> this is totally wrong. Oops. Isn't this wrong? The 
purple and black texture. <laughs> oh. Spoke too soon. Whoop. I almost think that part's like mostly right. Yeah, <laughs> but that that single part was right. Yeah, I already got to it. Yeah, a lot of these are too short. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I was gonna say, I don't remember the piranhas spitting fire. This is incredibly close though, <laughs> so far. I don't know about this part. Hey there, <laughs> how's it going? Oh my gosh. How's it going, uh, Super Dooby Doo? Hey, how's it going? Oh my god, dude. I'm getting hit left and right. How is everybody? What were you up to, Super Dooby Doo? That's messed up. Yeah, do you know what this is? It's what it sounds like. A bunch of like ROM hackers tried to recreate Super Mario World from memory. So they blanked all the levels and just redid them. <laughs> There's some... <laughs> this mushroom being in a little, a little, like, cubby is correct, but not there. And I don't think it ever does this a second time. Yeah, there is. I, I watched Psyraptor play it, and it's really cool, and I want to play it too. Whoops. Right on, that's cool. Retro is just about all I play. <laughs> I really want them to get the order of the bosses wrong, because I honestly would have. <laughs> but I think so far they've been correct, right? Hey, I'm sorry, Tupuam. Hey there, Sigurd and Bird. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, a list of levels. I wonder if that... <laughs> Guys, I have to have my speakers really loud. <laughs> so my notifications are jump scaring me and they're going to echo a lot. That's just going to happen. At building a keyboard. I'm playing Mario, but it's all weird. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, so what? If you're still here, what was it? Super Doobie Doo. What? What retro stuff? I'm curious. Oh! <laughs> Thank you for the host, Q. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is not right. I'm pretty sure. I think you can, like, dumb. I think you can, like, activate all of these without doubling back. This looks pretty close. Is it, or am I just remembering it wrong? 
My brain's like, yeah, good enough. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I've heard that before, that there are people who watch me who don't get jump scared by the notifications, but they do get jump scared by me getting jump scared, which I'm really sorry about. <laughs> but also, welcome to my world. Yeah, okay, they got the wings. Whoa. Hey, thank you, Uno Squid. Why didn't that one work? <laughs> I was looking directly at chat when it happened. That might have been why. You're trying to get me to meet. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Dumb. <laughs> it should be midair. Yeah, that makes sense. It didn't feel right. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you for gifting a sub to Sigrid. Ugh. No non-bridge platforms until the end. Really? This is way, way wrong, then. <laughs> is what you're telling me. You think you're la or you think you're joking, but there was a time. Did you know you can fall off when that happens? I didn't even hit the jump button. Hey Rusty. There was a time when uh I am very scared of anything with a stinger. So, I was pretty sure there was a wasp in my my living room. I was hanging out with fighting game people. And, uh... Whoops. I thought it was, like, in a lamp. <laughs> and so, we were just sitting there playing fighting games for a really long time. Uh... And every time the wasp and the lamp moved around, I would, like, freak the fuck out. And finally, my friend looked at it, and he was like, Dude, that's a mosquito. <laughs> Which, he was wrong. <laughs> he was wrong. It wasn't a mosquito. It was a mosquito hawk. Which some people will call a, a male mosquito. But they're, they're getting it confused because... Uh, what is that thing called? It's called a crane fly. Crane flies kill mosquitoes, and so they get called one like colloquial name for them is mosquito hawk. And that's where the misconception that crane flies are like male mosquitoes comes from. Yeah, mosquito eater. Yeah, they're they won't bite you, but anyway. So that was the wasp. <laughs> And it was tormenting me for like a solid hour. What the fuck was going on here? This was super wrong, right? <laughs> yeah, the music. They're huge, yeah. Yeah, they're not intentional remixes. They were, they're just trying to recreate the music from memory. I don't know how you, like, misremember the melody to this, but I do, like, play music. It, it might make me a little m more inclined to, like, remember music accurately. But that's just made up. That, and that's why I'm like, I don't know if it is that because I'm a musician that that I can detect what's wrong there. Because that sounds an awful lot to me. Like, the person who redid this was a musician, and they're like, I don't know, there's something here, and they just made something up. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, Ilya. Definitely not. Like, this is ideal. 
there's a uh, the melody's got a pretty a pretty significant um, inaccuracy. They go like dunna when they should go dunna. Like they just got the motion of a phrase completely backwards. That you have it went da da da. That goes da da da. Yeah, that's right. I hate the Forest of Illusions so much. I feel like this level so far has had like 14 wigglers, and I think that might be like way, way more than normal. Like, maybe it has, like, four or something. Wait, how... How are they expecting you to get here? <laughs> they don't have the... The pea balloon here. Yeah, it should be single, single blocks, right? <laughs> Expecting the Buck Bumble lyrics to kick in. Let's hear Kravitz's take on this. Can't buy a fuzz pedal. <laughs> right, Sigrid. Like, I, I swear some of this is like people are exaggerating a little bit. say cigarette what no okay come on <laughs> there's one block here and it's a it's a green block this is an excellent place to get capes because of that <laughs> they just made something up you're just making shit up what This is so wrong. Uh, if it has purple blocks, they're not this early. Yeah, well, huh? These aren't levels that you would see doing the 11 exit playthrough. <laughs> really? Wait, where do you think the secret exit is then, Mapper? Yeah, that one was way closer. <laughs> well, obviously they didn't put so many of these urchins on screen that the game lagged a bunch. <laughs> they should have known something was... No, it is later, but you see, do you see my issue? <laughs> like, they used the, the, woohoo, thank you, X Keeper. Yeah, they used this earlier in the level backwards.
forgot I don't have a... I don't think this is right at all. <laughs> Thank you, Sigrid. I'm sorry it didn't work. I happened to look over right when that happened. What? Why was that hallway four seconds long? You got scammed. Yeah, I thought maybe they messed with the world map. It seems like they did a little bit. But they're really, really accurate <laughs> compared to the levels. True. Yeah, we're talking about just the layout of the map, though. Honestly, I pay less attention when I'm on the world map. I'm probably way less attuned to inaccuracies there. If I redrew Yoshi from memory, it would be spitting out a, a xenomorph head, like the queen alien and aliens. And that Xenomorph head would also be spitting out another Xenomorph head. <sighs> oh, I'll give me that. I don't know why I care. I didn't get any of the other dragon coins. Click Yoshi Zone. Pro clickers don't interact. <laughs> That's good. Gabby yeah, and you, that's correct. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> yeah, this is the Giga Leaf Mario world. I don't think there was a clapping man there. That's uh, that's completely incorrect. <laughs> you didn't think there was a fire snake in there. Come on. You can kill those with the fire flower? Yeah, the bubbles sound like claps, and they also put the monster that claps in there. The monster that claps, by the way, is um, the name of my Batman arc that I'm workshopping that I'm going to send to DC. Batman's DC, right? Yeah, Spider-Man's Marvel. Well, you wouldn't read the monster that claps? Doesn't that sound awesome? <laughs> the level's just over. <laughs> well, Sigrid, you got me there. You got me there.
Uh, that's not right. <laughs> I don't think this is anywhere near this long, is it? This section? That part looks right. It's that long? Really? <laughs> hey, thanks, J52. Probably should have gotten that cape. No, don't get peace feed. <laughs> you don't want that. You don't want that. People, there used to not be a raid command. Raiding was something that people did manually. And to capitalize on that, Twitch added uh, hosts, or sorry, yeah, hosts, to make it like an official thing. But some people still host instead of raiding, so you'll occasionally get a host for... A ton of viewers. Son of a fuck. My God. Well, yeah, but hosts predate braids. <laughs> yeah, you still get your own chat. mean place to put that enemy. Oh yeah. May I have this? Thank you. So it, it used to be that raids were just something that people did manually. Um and hosting was added to make raids like an official thing. But what if I take that first exit? There's been another really close level. It is, it's more difficult, the ghost timing. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you you might be surprised. Uh, in the Doom wad, where people did the same thing, that was an extremely common theme was they would remember uh, monster encounters having like four times as many monsters as there actually were.
Three imps, no. Yeah. But I think, uh, I think what Nabjack is saying is that not, not necessarily that, that he would have like an improved accuracy, but that it wouldn't tend to increase the number of enemies, but maybe decrease. Am I correct? Something is strange about the background, yeah. Why is there a platform down there? That can't possibly be right, can it? Yes, I'm I'm sure that's what it is. Or I'm sure that's a big part of it is that people remember the game being more difficult either because they remember it from childhood or they're ROM hackers, so they know, like, Kaizo stuff. And so their concept of what, like, the original game's difficulty was like has just been completely miscalibrated. Woo! Yeah, the background actually messes with me, too. <laughs> Thanks for the host, X Keeper. Well, I don't think anyone could recreate a game from memory <laughs> all that accurately. Whoever did E1M4 from memory? Okay, I definitely don't remember there being a super fast auto-scrolling fortress. <laughs> is this right? Am I wrong here? I, this is like super off, isn't it? Oh, I'm dead, right? No. That's right. I think the thing is like too high. My gosh. This is too big, this platform is. I don't think its movements are quite this complex. Yeah, like that's, I don't, I don't remember it ever making you do anything quite that difficult. That's, that is not, <laughs> that is not correct.
There's way more fireballs than usual. You guys really don't think this is one block too wide? I think this is, like, more difficult than the original. <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah, the potobos are really fast. The bouncing potobos are really fast. Ah, uh, Super Mario World remade from memory. So like a bunch of ROM hackers. Um, or maybe one ROM hacker, I don't know. I think it was a team though. Um, collaborated to recreate this game from memory. The level is not this difficult originally. <laughs> Hello? There we go. Yeah, you just have somebody else wipe the levels. Dude, I fucking... That's a pretty tight jump. Uh, it's really, really usable sect. This is like one of the, one of the most ROM hackable games. This is probably literally the most accessible game to ROM hack in history. Yeah, <laughs> remade from memory and, and so well, too. Thank you. 
Damn. I was expecting this to be one of the hard levels, because when this game was new, I remember this level being really tough. That's weird. Did you notice that the the Potobo like behaved completely differently that time? I think like walking forward too quickly the second time I got there must have scrolled the camera a little bit and completely messed with it. Or there's a little bit of randomness to how the Potobos work, which isn't that actually the case? I don't know. It's weird. The like the diagonal hit detection I think is kind of strange in this game. It's a little difficult to tell exactly when they're going to bounce. Come on now. No, but if if you were like a kid, then it, it was a really hard level. This is probably the second hardest level in the game for me when I played this growing up. Dumb. Yeah. There's a little bit of randomness there. Like, this section, the precision this demands is... <laughs> maybe... Maybe... Up there with how you might remember Mario World feeling. <laughs> if you played it as a kid. Let's see if this, like, makes the timing a little less ridiculous on this. Yeah, that's way more doable. Fucking. Yeah. <laughs> What if I just do this instantly? Oh, that <laughs> made it impossible. <laughs> Don't do that. like so many more of <laughs> these photo bows here. What if I just don't scroll the screen to the right at all? The reason you do it is it makes these drop way sooner, but I guess you can just hang out at the front of the platform. Oh shit. Alright, we're good. Yeah, 
It's a normal level. We have to compare this to the other level. Because a lot of people are saying the snake uh, path is like the exact same. Snake path is in Dragon Ball. Did you know that? I could see this being hard-coded because it is so correct. <laughs> and like, this seems like something that would just be obscenely difficult to get close. I'm doing this again. It really did make this section a lot easier. Yeah, there's there are so many fireballs. Hello, please. There we go. It's fine. Oh. Yeah, I know, X Rock. <laughs> I don't think they wanted to. This this is not the goal of the hack. It's just if you play ROM hacks, you are accustomed to really difficult. Oh, you I dare you to spin jump on those. <laughs> With the spikes above? No way. Bridge secret area? I already did. What do you mean? Oh, you mean with the torpedo Ted's, right? Yeah, I'll go back to that. Now I need to get a Yoshi. I thought you said she was slurpy. I don't know. I don't know what they're called in Japanese. That probably erased the halfway point in that level, but we'll see. Okay. 
Actually, I might be able to just fly here, right? Yeah, it's just easier with him. You have to dive bomb under the checkpoint and then pull back. Well, that can't be done. <laughs> Tricky, dude. <laughs> That's fucking tricky. From the top. Fucking ah. Oh. Can you do that from the beginning? Right, yeah. Hey, thank you, Sepasai. That's fucking tough. I'm getting a Yoshi. I'm getting one hell of a Yoshi. Well, in the vanilla game, I've done it without Yoshi. Is that what you mean? Don't spoil it for me. Wait, is there a Koopa over here? No. 
so far, I see. Oh yeah, it's not even close. This is probably the most fucked up song. Oh damn, I still had peace feed. That would have been nice. Yeah, it's unrecognizable. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this feels right, but I don't really remember the level very well. Dear. Hey, thank you. The special world? No, not yet. I did the star world. Okay. I, I really don't know about the end of that. I think that was kind of made up. It's it's legal. That path looks way wrong. They probably figure it out like instantly, right? Yeah. <laughs> that like Twitch emote modifier. Is this faster than the normal path? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> I 
I can instantly lose a cape and another cape, that's fine. Does it? <laughs> oh, I haven't thought of the... Wasn't there a Mega Man one too called like Mega Mati or something? Which is weird because you'd think it would be called Rock Mati, but... Maybe I made it up. Maybe it doesn't exist. I hit the D-pad too many times. Because Rockman sounds stupid. I didn't hit the D-pad enough times. Maybe. I'm kind of dreading the end of this level. I wonder how well they remember it, because it's kind of a pain. I hope they just kind of remember the level ending. <laughs> Sometimes you do remarkable Mario gaming. You're telling me you want you want a spin jump on that? with a little precision. Oh, too far. <laughs> that was really close. Fuck, I forgot. Level's not that bad. It'd be less jokerifying if you were playing it. I don't. It's like mildly challenging. <laughs> it's 
Some stuff is just more annoying to watch. The problem is, in this one, if you don't pull the camera back, you get screwed by those guys. Please incorrectly remember a hidden path down here. You fuckers! It just despawned, <laughs> like, super early! It's not the correct behavior. No, but you know what I was trying to do, right? There's a similar section in a later castle where if you follow the, the block snake down into a pit, there's a checkpoint in there. <laughs> I was hoping that they misremembered which, which castle had that. It made sense. It is, yes. I'm so worried about there being, yeah, those guys. <laughs> they did, they really did remember the level just ending when there's tough stuff there. <laughs> Easy. That is so much easier if you pull the camera back to the left after pushing it to the right. I don't think they ever thought of that. Because you can make that level a lot easier if you push the camera to the right and just kind of let it hang out there. Whoa! How'd I fucking get jump scared, dude? <laughs> he didn't capitalize Chocolate Island. Oh, that's incredibly incorrect. <laughs> My inclination is to just fly over a ton of shit, but obviously we can't really, like, get a fair idea of how the ROM hack is if I do that. That's not right, is it? <laughs> it didn't look very right. Oh, give me the Yosh. You know, something that I remember this level having, and I wonder if I'm thinking of a later level. Yeah, okay, it's this. Wait. <laughs> Excuse me? There we go. Huh. Hey there, Lumi. How are you? How'd your uh, late night stream go? <laughs> What's it like? <laughs> mm. 
What? Is this right? <laughs> Yeah, that launch is fucked up in the original. It's just something like if you hold right, then you die. You have to hold jump and nothing else. Or maybe jump and Y and nothing else. Isn't there another set of concrete ghosts? <laughs> I don't think you have to lure these ones all the way over here. Oh, come on. I didn't realize those had hitboxes back there. Wow, sick and also on a holiday, yeah. What did you do? Hey, super unknown. Oh, Halo. Are you like really good at FPS games? I feel like I remember hearing that. How did it go? I think this looks pretty accurate, right? This first room. Oh, I see. People, how accurate was that? Yeah, I had that same thought, X Keeper. Boing! <laughs> the, the bass goes high. Yoshi. No real perspective on how close this is. Oh. Oh. Man, isn't this one like really close? been impossible if I jumped on the first platform, right? Yeah, that sounds right. No combo.
So with this level, I want to um, wait before I take the second pipe, right? How long do I wait? Okay. To get the normal exit. Is that right? Yeah, like the lag seems... I don't ever remember Mario World lagging there. So I feel like there are too many dinos. Yeah. Someone clearly disagrees. Quite correct. That air, that section I floated over was completely inaccurate. I could just tell from up there. <clears throat> Please tell me this isn't the exit that just loops back to the same level. Okay. <sighs> Thank you, Jackie Wags. How are you? Playing what three times at once? It should be two. What's going on is uh, this game is extremely quiet, so I have my um, speakers way up, but my mic is delayed to synchronize my speech to my model. Right? That seems really weird. That was odd.
My favorite Mario World enemy. No. Maybe Magic Koopa. Really accurate, <laughs> this one. <laughs> Look at this. This one's not right. <laughs> it looks perfect to me. A couple elements. I don't... <laughs> remember it forcing you to use this P switch to get this. Do you? <laughs> really? Wild. I don't know why I did that. I just skipped level. <laughs> the whole point is to... Huh? That... Huh? Is that real? <laughs> that shit up there? What? <laughs> exactly one of them died. That was weird. Losing the Yosh. Wendy's Castle. That doesn't seem right. This this really dangerous series of lava jumps. Probably. Fuck me. Holy crap. Come on, Dot. Come on, Dot. No, because Wendy's castle is like this. That was actually quite close, I think. 
It's these jumps over lava that I think are like just totally not in the original. But there's definitely um buzz saws plus uh spike guys. Well. Oops. Yes. Yeah, I very common for the quantity of <laughs> threats to be just completely off. Oh, I ran. You like how the closed captions handled that? That is not my accent, closed captions. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, this is wrong because there need to be more platforms here. Because this is one of the areas where, like, you uh, can get a one up if you, like, cross a bunch of arbitrary points on the screen. Dot, you're so good. I know. Thank you. Like, that's, that's just completely... <laughs> I don't think they added so many enemies that the game lagged, <laughs> like, egregiously. I can't hit her. She can hit me. <laughs> Why is this so much harder? <laughs> Are there too many potabos or something? Am I just fucking it up? Yeah, the RGB on my keyboard died, and I'm real sad about it. Hey, thanks, Sepasai. Again, I gotta, I gotta get another, <laughs> another bottle of water. Yeah, this is the version of Super Mario World that they gave Wimplo in a Betty's temple. It's not even any different. <laughs> this level is normally quite easy. That 
that would be cool. Look at these spikes. I, I hate the cow scene. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of kung pao. I don't really enjoy to be honest with you. The cow scene in Kung Pao, where he fights the cow, and it's like a parody of The Matrix. My th my thoughts on that, Shaxpert? I think probably some of the people doing the music are not musicians and or are not familiar with the software they're using. How accurate is this? I have no idea. It looks like right to me. The soundtrack's available. <laughs> no thanks. They can keep it. I think this is right. Where you have to do that to get up to this path. I, I'm pretty sure it's like way less tricky than that. I'll, I don't think this is the right kind of <laughs> shock or something. Uh, honestly, it's good. I like it. Yeah, I tried to hit him with it, but instead I was just like, here, you may have this. Oh, man. I tweaked something in my neck. This isn't right. right? This feels like super wrong. There being cheese. <laughs> oh, the entire top half of the cheese is gone. Surely this person remembers there was a top half and this is like an engine limitation thing or something. <laughs> you know. Jute.
Yeah, I love this level. This level I just like couldn't get past when I was a kid. It took me like, most of a day. <laughs> That's funny. I don't remember there being cheese to get you over here. Yeah, that doesn't seem correct. This level was harder than Roy's castle. Yeah, the cheese doesn't assist you in getting to the end, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, remember? <laughs> Remember this in Mario World? Come on, no you don't. You fibber. You kidder. Fuck, I'm dead. Oh, you can use it. <laughs> That's funny. Not like I just did it. stars. What? What? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> I don't think that's working right. The spikes were not deliberate, the lava was. <laughs> I don't remember seeing this thing ever in my life. I jumped. I jumped. It's a little joke. Pretty damn. So... <laughs> I don't remember this. Nothing. I don't remember a section like this at all. I think this is totally fake. Like, does this ring a bell for anyone?
Damn, I wonder if you can even do this without the cape. Barely. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this, this level's tough, but it's not like this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they were allowed to check. <laughs> Hey, Cerebro. Why did that happen? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think scrolling the screen caused the Potobo to spawn a second time. It never did that before. I was doing the screen thing at a completely different time. Well, that was wrong. <laughs> the thing I just said. If you don't scroll the screen here, these, like, break. Fast I mash. How about that? Okay. There you go. <laughs> I got scary. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm double fucked. <laughs> All I was doing was alternating between the Y and X buttons. I double fucked, I'm Emily. A game over, nah. I'm telling you, I don't think they were trying to make it difficult. <laughs> I think they were trying to make it from memory. Hey, Daniel. Uh, I don't know. I think someone in chat knows. Oh, a bird on your monitor. Well, my hovercraft is full of eels. What do you think of that? I got through it that one time. <laughs> look at that little, look at that rat roll. This part, yeah, for sure.
Okay, that's actually not that bad. Okay, <laughs> that was close. Look at this. That's a Battletoad style. I did hit the jump button. I must have done it after I slipped off the edge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario World. I remember this part. I was trying to use the in-game clock for that, but it's like a timing device, but it, it's not good enough. <laughs> So you have to jump, like, maybe as soon as it starts going, yeah. Whew, close. Close. Yeah, there's some easy hacks. Oh, shit. Uh, I have to get on the thing. <laughs> yes, I know, game. I am aware. It's just like you remember it, right? Easy. It was just a matter of finding a way to eyeball the timing for that last jump. You just jump as soon as this, the thing goes down. <laughs> Pretty good recreation of the rest of your fight. All right. If anyone wasn't here for this level, this one is really different. Right, yeah, it was totally made up. Like, the concept is the same, but the the one big thing... 
Okay, thank you, boot blacking. The one big thing is like, I don't think there was a single section where you were waiting on saws. Yeah, you could. Yeah. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm, dead. I'm alive. I'm sure they didn't forget the top half of this cheese. I'm sure what happened is that they couldn't do it in the level editor. <laughs> There's just no way someone would forget that detail. Yes, but I got the secret exit raccoon. Iggy's castle is going to be rough. Oh, the ghost house is? Oh, you mean the level I just did? Yeah, it's much easier. Whoa. This is pretty close. <laughs> It's missing the, uh, the star, though. Oh, yeah, now Wonk is correct. I was also getting sick of doing them. I don't know how you softlock. It might be that the mushrooms get caught in the floor because that does happen. Valley of Bowser 2. Well, Mario World experts, any <laughs> any thoughts on the accuracy of this this level? That's what I'm saying, Mycophobia. <laughs> I think... I think... I really think it's that whatever software they were using to make the music, the person couldn't figure out. <laughs> level you just cape fly over is accurate. <laughs> we need, what we need is like a Super Mario World expert. Transcribe it from memory, yeah. Hey, thank you, Sepasai. That's not right. The concept is correct. This is like way too big. <laughs> yeah, so it can't be the same person, right? I don't remember this at all. <laughs> is this a real thing? There we go. Level looks easier. There is a backwards bonus here. Really, does it have the potobos though? That's the thing that was, that I wasn't remembering. So we're thinking these paths are like 
if not hard coded, really, really difficult to edit. Because everybody insisted that the path in uh, Roy's castle was like super accurate. Yeah, this is way wrong. It's this spike placement. I don't think they ever do this in Mario World. You see how there's like a single tile and there's a spike on top of it? Does that ever happen? I don't think that ever happens in the game, I mean. And this is supposed to have a pretty generous section in the middle that you can stand on. It's actually possible to take this thing up to it and like fly through the rest of the level, I think. Or I always thought it was possible. As a child. Hey, Comet Gamer, how are you? What does not? What are you talking about? The generous section in the middle, 100% it has that. I, I was saying the same thing now, Wonk. No one agreed with me. I swear I'm right. For sure. Yeah, remember that? Remember the thwomps over the <laughs> the spike pits <laughs> that were totally in Super Mario World. You know what's up with this ROM hack I'm playing, Comic Gamer? Yeah, I am. <clears throat> Alright, just a sec.
I'm back. <laughs> the flexing Popeye. <laughs> or the flexing baby with the Popeye. Okay, so. Total subject change. What should I ask for for Christmas? Anybody got any ideas? <laughs> already a little funny. I have a mister. Yeah, but which one, Faye? Oh my god. Accurate? Inaccurate? Three by six? Yeah, they're three by five here. Is that wrong? <laughs> I should ask for Castlevania three. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as far as I know, this really nasty spike placement here. Okay, doesn't happen. Cooking lessons? What do you take me for? A Borderlands 3 Funko Pop, go to bed. Oh yeah, so this is, uh, Super Mario World remade from memory. <laughs> Is that real? Uh, just, uh, it's like a, ha a team of ROM hackers. I was starting to say a hack of ROM teamers. Did you see that dude just turn around? Uh, uh. I always took room three as a kid because I know there was like a hidden uh, cape in there somewhere, but I don't see it. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're not wrong, Mycophobia. What's up, Mogambo? I could see. Does this exist? <laughs> huh? Hmm? That counted as a hit, somehow.
doesn't work. <laughs> Two and seven, that makes sense. I can't kill these. Well, do you know what this is? <laughs> this isn't right. Because it's not just Super Mario World. Yeah, I've done the whole thing, so if you want, you could go back and watch the VOD as well. Yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> oh. This seems kind of right. <laughs> Is it? It's not right, okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. No, I'm doing Special World after this. Huh? What's that? What's wrong with that thwomp? He's gonna fuck the whole thing up. <laughs> the thwomp fucked the whole thing up! Dead Thwomp had had enough. Uh, there are bugs, for sure. I can only imagine how bad Tubular is going to be. Tubular is not that hard. It's the hardest level in the game, I think, but... In the hack? We're talking about in the hack specifically. Yeah. <laughs> Tubular is like tough, but sometimes I'll just do it first try. When I play this game, you know, today, my adult brain. Uh, I not super well. Oh, so they got it in the they got it in the wrong blocks is what you're saying. So if you go for the correct ones you get fucked, right? <laughs> is that what you mean? Am I missing any levels? Levels, not exits.
Yeah, I don't really care about the exits. Which ones we in? That didn't seem that accurate. Does it? What's the level? I can't even picture it. Well, gnarly was easy. Here we go. This is the hardest level <laughs> in the original game. Probably. Damn, it really looked like I was going to pull it off. <laughs> you know? Never played Mario 64. I can play Mario alright. I can play Mario alright. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I meant Donkey Kong 64. I played a shitload of Mar Mario Car or Mario 64. I'm never sarcastic. That's not true. I am rarely sarcastic. How about that? I'm dead, right? I needed to get a balloon out of one of those. Oh, <laughs> there's an invisible ceiling up there. Hey, thank you, Q. Yeah, I love Mario 64. I just misspoke. Bought myself a little extra time there. Oof. This one? God knows where the next one is. Oh. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this ROM hack is called Mario... Super Mario World Remade from Memory. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to get it, though. Or am I? Have a good night, Sheriff. <laughs> what a save until it wasn't. <laughs> I just hope it's not one of these. I hope it's that one. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, tubular's not that bad in this. It's still a tough level, but... Wait, do you die for hitting the first one? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yep. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I got it. really remember this part. Yeah, the music is super wrong. Oh yeah, I remember this part. A couple of these levels did turn out easier. Hm. Sepisai, if I announced it every time, if I had a nickel for every time I did that, I have a whole lot of fucking nickels. Whoa, this looks pretty good, actually. I know at some point there are gonna be, yeah, these guys. Gel kick and Coopers. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this level's hard. Anytime I replay this, I have a harder time with this level than with Tubular. Like, for sure. <laughs> now you've got water of your own. It's not very nice. <laughs> oh, I know the level you're talking about. It gives you the sneak peek at the Valley of Bowser, doesn't it? Or only take it internally. <laughs> You're just hydrating your shirt. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, my body. Is that the only level I'm missing, do you? Yeah, I've been listening to it for almost four hours, Pressure. I'm right there with you. What should I play tomorrow? Tomorrow we should just try to find stuff to put on my Christmas list. Doesn't that sound boring? <laughs> Another shopping stream. <laughs> the shopping stream was how I figured out that my uh, interface's um, self noise was audible. shop for myself in Disgaea. No, what is that game called? Racketeer. Yeah, it is. Uh, I assume you need this for some reason. <laughs> Whoops. My assumption may have been wrong. must involve that, because this was the level that had the really weird thing on this side, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a completely new thing that's not correct. Yeah. I feel like that ghost placement is not correct. So I'm pretty sure this just leads to the boss. I just want to be sure. Yeah, okay. Okay, so if I hit this here, okay. Weird. Where's the normal exit? <laughs> Oops. Oh. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> Yeah, right, so, <laughs> whoops, dumb. So, wait, let's find out what this is. This door on the left. So maybe you have to, fuck me. Maybe you have to do this to get the door below the vine to become the exit? <laughs> you know, maybe. Could 
Could it be like back here? That's my guess. I'm going to go through here. And then go through the door below the vine. This is the secret ghost house in Donut Plains. Oh my god. Well, it's definitely not right. <laughs> Did I take this, like, all the way back to the beginning? I think I did, right? What is it now, Wonk? How do you do it? In this hack. Because I do want to see that level I missed. You know? Oh, the room with the boss door. And you're sure you're not thinking of the door I went through? No, that leads to the secret exit. Eight lives. I don't know why that killed me. That leads to the secret exit. Pizza, I don't know. Remember that? So you're talking about this one? Or a different one. After the boo ring? Okay. Are you talking about this door? Because I went in that door. It's not leading to the normal the normal exit. It's in that room, the one I just entered, isn't it? It really does sound like Mario is missing. So, let, to be clear, are you talking about this door that's visible on screen right now? This is not the exit. Did you get a level editor? Way harder to find than the secret exit. Well, you know, <laughs> it's the 
point of the hack. Yeah, okay. This level. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about this level earlier. Oh, is that supposed to be slippery on the brown block? It's global, okay. Uh-huh. Well, as this hack has proven, Shinobo, it is possible to remember wrong. <laughs> wait, wait! Right on. Whoops. How right was that? I really don't have any perspective on it. I agree, Buyun. <laughs> there's there's got to be an element of fibbing here, right? Let me get some capes. I'm not going for all the exits, just all the levels. I'm missing tons of exits. What if I started doing, I think I've, I've asked this before. What if I started doing a yearly playthrough of Mario 64 every every year around Christmas time? Is that too much Mario 64? Fuck me. On the 64th day of the year, that's a good idea. That's not there. There's a tricky jump there, but it doesn't involve a single tile, I'm pretty sure. Level might be easier. <laughs> Do you 70 exits, Arborelia? Are you in that group that does a, a 70 exit race like once every year? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't go for 120 stars. <laughs> I can't ever just like smoothly eat all of the the parts. Oh, I just did it. Good job, Dot. Yeah, this is the demo level. Oh wow, it's it's pretty close though. What a nasty enemy placement. Oh no! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I th this is really unfamiliar, but I don't do this level very often, so I guess it's I guess anything's possible. Oh 
Oh, it does four. Don't want a soft block in the extra stage. Yeah, I don't think those pipes are right. Oh, uh, Arborelia, yeah, maybe if, uh, maybe if you wouldn't mind. I'd have to think about it because I might want to not do 70 stars. If I decide to do 120, I'll do my own thing, but. Okay, bye, Yoshi. <laughs> All right, yeah, real, <laughs> that level's exactly as short as I remember. Yeah, the, if I recall, they on those levels, they use the background layer that's capable of alpha transparency for something else. They have to do lattice transparency for the water. Don't you need to carry a spring around in this level? I didn't see a single spring. You know? Like, I kind of remember that level being hard because you had to carry a spring around and make these, like, gigantic jumps that weren't possible without it. What was that, like, walking Koopa Paratroopa? <laughs> I, is that in the game, or is that something that was, like, dummied out? <laughs> and only a ROM hacker would, like, remember it at all. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't think this is right. Don't you go through a pipe to see that you are a super player? I don't think three exclamation points is right. Isn't it two? Yeah, that's supposed to be the longest level in the game. <laughs> For sure. I, this, I hate this. I hate that when you go through the thing at the end of Super Mario World, it makes the game ugly. Yeah, I hope someone was fired for that blunder. Let's just go and tell me if I missed any levels. I don't care about exits. Levels. Named a level Hella. That would be sick. I would have named a level sick. <laughs> well, sure. I didn't know that. Right on, Sepasai. Have a good night. <laughs> yeah, that level is long, is what I remember. Is there a missing level in here? There's just a missing exit, right? What about here? Did I get everything? Because the secret exit from here just leads back to the same level, right? No. You seeing what I'm seeing?
Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I, am I imagining this? Oh, true. I don't think that was the same level layout. I think they had a different person do the back door from the person who did the front door. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> this hack rules. Right, yeah, it, it's not that different. They add a, a halfway point tape. That's the big thing. Yeah, look at this. See, the, that was what tipped me off, is the ninja are in different places. I died. <laughs> well, anyway. It just lags the game. You really want to see it? You see how laggy the game gets with this? This is obscene. Man, the game is really loud tonight, huh? This is like a... <laughs> Excuse me? Good. Good shot, Dot. Just like I remember. <laughs> oh no, I'm fucking with a water bottle. <laughs> I can't touch the controller. All right, we're good. This isn't a song I would get right, though. Yeah. No plumbo. It really is. <laughs> now for the unforgettable credits song. No, going on a trip. Oh. 
Oh. Well, we did it. <laughs> we beat every level. Hey, next time, you, you missed the whole thing? What a good emote. This is so weird sounding. Yeah, the sound font is strange. <sighs> yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> they remember Dave Brooks and no one else. Have a good night, Nocturne. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I remember Dave Brooks, too. Because the spelling is so unusual, you, like, can't forget it. Stop. Oh, I wonder if they did the names for memory. Like, is it going to get weird? Oh, I'm making myself dizzy. Pidget Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Someone pointed those out to me, like, literally actually no it wasn't any no one pointed them out to me i think i watched the nest complex video about this he's like did you notice yoshi's arms are orange yeah it's bizarre I wonder if they like they had everyone do like a self-assessment you know they're like how well do you remember the music how well do you remember this level and the people who scored themselves the lowest were assigned that thing yeah <laughs> poor Koopas Eight Lives told me about Yoshi's arms, too. That happened. I always wanted to fight Resners on a, a stage that looked like this. Oh, I assume that you don't because they needed a background layer for the Mode 7 rotation thing. There we go. Hey, thank you, Funky Brewster. We're done. We are done with Mario. That was pretty fun. That was pretty weird. So anyone who didn't catch the beginning, this is a ROM hack called Super Mario World Remade from Memory. So like a bunch of ROM hackers did what it sounds like. They got together to remake the game from memory. 
and the results are kind of all over the place. <laughs> no more Mario ever until the yearly Mario 64 playthrough. Another yearly playthrough I was thinking about doing was Hudson's Adventure Island, <laughs> which if you don't know, that game is pretty tough. This would probably be at least three hours every time. Thank you everybody for watching. What's going on on Twitch? There's a lot going on on Twitch. But I'll tell you what. Hickey and Soleil are doing some desert bus thing. <laughs> I feel like I have to raid Hickey for desert bus, right? A certain dog? Sh shoot. Ah, uh, well, I already started the picky raid, and I like picky, so I'm gonna go ahead with the picky raid, but next time, <laughs> next time I happen to be streaming over stunts, let me know sooner. <laughs> yeah, they're still doing it. Desert bus takes a long time, so. All right, good, good hustle, everybody. I'll be on tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. That's just a general statement about my life. Oh my god, I hope not. <laughs> but it's possible. Alright, have a good one, everybody. I will see you tomorrow.